Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jun Gianni. Alice is with me once more to demonstrate the improper and the proper alignment for the shoulder, elbow, wrist in a side plank. So all the time we see this done not so well. Um, and it's really over time and habitually doing it in a not so well way can really compromise the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. But if you have the, the shoulder, elbow, and wrist stacked in the right way, it's amazing how much more power you have to connect into your core and even to do the fancy leg movements and um, variations into the exercise. All right, so Alice, let's um, start with the bad version. <laughs> All right, so, so this one is gonna be where the, the hand and wrist are beyond the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, and then come on down. Yeah, and um, you don't have to quite do it that far. Okay. Right. Okay. So we see this and this um, kind of Z-ish position in the knees a lot going into. This is a traditional way to to cue um, the seated position into the side plank. And for a lot of people, when they come into the side plank, the wrist is far beyond the shoulder. So let's see that one more time where it's just not the, the most perfect position. Good. And we see that the rib splain, she has a lot of um, compression in her lumbar spine. And if I were to ask her to lift this leg, she's really going to compromise the shoulder. I don't even want to ask her to do that right now and come on down. So you want to look out for, for this kind of thing in your clients. So now let's bring her into the proper alignment where the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist are stacked one on top of the other so that the arm really becomes our column that we can reach down into the floor and away from the floor to really support this side plank. All right, and so the, the client has to be aware. Yeah, good, nice. And then come back down again. And you can even bring your hand a little tiny bit closer to you, Alice. Okay. I know, it feels funny. And then come back up and really press down into the palm. Good, soften your front ribs, lengthen the lumbar spine. And then gently come back down. Do you want to switch sides or are you okay? I'm okay. All right, yeah. so we're going to go into that same uh, position, the good position, and we're going to try to lift. When you're ready, you're going to try to lift that top leg up a little bit, but you want to really press into the floor. You can reach through the heel much better, much better. Doesn't that feel more solid? And then, yeah, gently come on down. Great. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.